Hello, best friend, and a welcome, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all having the most incredible day. This is the first time that you're watching my channel. My name is Sebastian, and I welcome you guys with open arms. I do pop culture videos every single day, honey. So if you're looking for a new messy best friend, well, girl, you have found me. So why don't you grab a snack and a drink, hit that subscribe button, I would be incredibly thankful and just so 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 grateful best friend we gotta talk okay we are back in my closet i know that a lot of you guys missed it so i was like girl let me just come back to the closet let me go back into the closet one what, what you know a couple times here and there uh but best friend we gotta talk because listen so a lot of you guys have been like sebastian did Haley bieber post about justin did Haley bieber post the birthday the birthday the birthday the yes she did girl yes she did and we gotta talk about it so check this out best friend girl when i tell you this was said to me so many times first of all thank you guys so much for thinking about me second of all girl listen I didn't talk about this when this first came out because you guys know I spilled the tea right on the dot, honey. But I had a friend over I hadn't seen in like two and a half years. So we we're like kicking and we we're talking. I did hear my phone buzzing. It was, it was, it was buzzing more than usual, bitch. I was like, oh girl, who got canceled? Anyways, so listen. Four hours ago, Haley Bieber did um post uh justin bieber a happy birthday uh message so let's look at the picture she chose and uh the caption reads 30 that was fast words could never truly describe the beauty of who you are happy birthday to you love of my life for life she said for life she said divorce rumors for life she said stephen baldwin unfollow and for life Girl, she's not playing with these divorce rumors, honey. Let's look at the picture she chose. So she chose these pictures. Well, this video first. And then, I mean, he was a really cute baby. And then she chose this one. Oh, did they go to that tart for a board trip? Then this very juicy. Mm, then this cake, girl. The cake looks good. The, the wedding picture. Then this picture. Then that picture. Then... So a lot of people were like on the lookout, bitch. People had binoculars, girl. People, people called uh, Anola Ho, and they were like, "Girl, we need you to come down here. We need we. This is a case for the FBI, Chris Jenner, girl. Okay. So listen, um, you know, a lot of people were like, "Is she gonna wish him a happy birthday? Is she not gonna wish him a happy birthday? Are they getting a divorce? What's going on, girl? What's happening? What's happening? Que lo que está pasando? Dora, what is happening? Yo no sé." Like, I don't know, girl, you know? But anyway, she did wish him a happy birthday. Of course, we were saying, like, of course she's wishing him a happy birthday because obviously they're not going to do their divorce announcement yet. Listen, let me tell you guys something, okay? I totally, I totally know that there's so many people who do not like this couple, right? Like, I get it. That's fine. Everybody likes who they like, you know? And, you know, I always like to say I'm Team Selena, but I wish everyone well, right? The thing is, here's the issue, okay? Um... She said in this caption, love of my life for life. That is her response. We're not going to get a statement. We're not going to get any type of like, you know, publications. We're not going to get a, a sit down video. This was her comment to the rumors. Now, is it true? Is it not true? Who the fuck knows, best friend, you know? Um, but we'll just have to wait and see. But for those wondering if she did wish him a happy birthday, yes, she did. Um, and girl, listen, I just want to let you guys know something. I'm so grateful for you guys. You, you... Sebastian, where are you? She posted, Sebastian, talk about this. Sebastian, and I was like, they love me. They truly love me. They love me to spill the tea, girl. And I was I was here talking about Fifth Harmony with my friend. Um, but anyways, girl, listen, what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. Don't forget to hit that follow. I'd really, really appreciate it. I don't take any of you guys for granted. And um, by the way, I need to make sure that they ate that cake. So anyone who knows, because these rich bushy people don't like to eat the damn cake. And I'm just like, girl, what? What? Do you know how much food is probably left over from so many events and parties, bitch? Oh, that, that pisses me off, girl. That pisses me off. All right, best friend. So listen. I obviously knew that she was going to congratulate Justin. You know, I obviously knew it because here's the thing, whether whether the rumors are true or not, you know, they're they're going to, you know, save face, right? So if the rumors were not true, obviously, you know, they're going to, you know, save face. But if they're if they are 
I mean, no, sorry. If they're if they are true, they're going to kind of play off, you know, and just not not give the 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 media what it wants in the public. But if it's not true, well, then she's just celebrating her husband's birthday, right? And listen, she obviously responded to the divorce rumor saying for life, okay, the love of my life for life, which means there is, according to her, no divorce. So listen. I get it, best friend. A lot of people want them to be divorced, right? Everyone has their own reasons why. But if they're not getting a divorce, then, you know, it is what it is, right? But there are a lot of people who just do not believe it. I would say this, look, at the end of the day, we have to kind of, you know, there are a lot of things that just doesn't make sense, right? And I'm sure some of the things are going to be coming out, you know, eventually, and we're going to understand a little bit more of, of things. You know, people are saying that, you know, he might talk about it in his new music, you know, maybe like, you know, just, you know, maybe touch freely on it, you know, a little bit here, a little bit there, like in interviews and stuff. And I just feel like, honestly, at this point in time, that would just be super like, it would be so freaking cool. I already talked about this, but like, for those who didn't see it, you know, how cool would it be to say, hey, you know what, we are going through, we are going through some things that, you know, we're, we're trying to figure it out, you guys. Like, how would you guys figure it out? Like, how cool would that be? Because you would feel so like, oh my God, yeah, like my partner and I went through that exact same thing, and, you know, and, and, and how are they going to learn from it? And what did we learn from this? Like, it becomes a conversation, which means that it becomes relatable and it becomes a lot more like, hey, you know what? They're actually pretty cool to be so transparent. They're really cool to be so free and open. And that's the part that I'm just like, you're missing such an incredible opportunity. If, if if something is going on, if nothing is going on, then obviously just, you know, go about your day, girl. But, you know, if something is going on, just like take the time to be like, you know what? Fuck it. Let's just talk about it. You know, everyone wants, everyone is giving their opinions about it anyways. So we might as well just talk about it. And so, yeah, you know what? Uh, we are going through a couple of things and, you know, I, I, I'm going to be transparent because you know what? I, I want not only my products to be transparent, but I want to be transparent too. Like the formulas in my products, like how we, how we, you know, how, what they really do. I want to do that too. So you can trust in a business standpoint, you can trust, you know, the person who is selling these products. So how cool would that be? But, you know, I just don't believe that's something that she will ever do. And I just think that's something that Justin has no interest in doing, obviously, because he's like, this literally nobody's business, girl. And I get that too, honey. Your personal life is private. Your personal life should be personal. But when you are in the public eye, you want to make sure that, you know, you are somewhat of a trustworthy person, you know, to the public. And especially if you are, you know, uh, selling something, right? If you are like, you know, promoting something, if you are, um, you know, um, selling products or you want to be, you know, a... Uh, um, a trustworthy business person, a business owner. So it's just it, it's just about how you manage things. And I just honestly, girl, some some, some things about you know Haley. Just it seems to me like she she rather just kind of uh, have this. Um, this sort of portrayal about her in the media that everything is so picture perfect, but it's just, it, that's not life. You know what I mean? That's just not life and it's not real. And, and, and people go through shit. You know what I mean? Like it is what it is. People go through shit and people have to be honest about it. Right? So I don't know, best friend, like, look, it is what it is, but I just have to say at one point in time, they're going to have to say something. They're going to have to talk about it. They're going to have to release it because girl, I mean, damn, right? What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. If you were in their position, would you talk about it? It's very difficult because it's like, it's nobody's fucking business. But at the same time, if everyone is making it their business and you are a public figure, wouldn't it just be better to kind of to rip that bandaid, talk about it and just move on with your life? Right? Because if they came out and be like, yeah, you know what? We, we are definitely going through things, you know, our anxieties or whatever, blah, 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 blah. This is how we're working on it. People would be like, okay, well, you know what? Good luck working on it. Let us know how it went. People are not going to... Trust me, when the mystery is gone, the interest lowers. That's just how it is, girl. That's just the law of the the, the pop culture, you know, famous people world. You know, if, if there's no mystery, if there's no mirror, uh, what is it called? Fog and uh, smoke and mirrors. 
people are going to go to the next attraction, you know, and I would be here spilling the tea about it. So what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. Um, I think I would, you know, especially if I was a business owner and already road products like the lip tide already get so much shit. I would be like, you know what? This is a perfect time for me to be open. But girl, that's just me, bitch. You know, I'm just, I, I, I am open, you know, and I am honest with you guys, you know, so I don't know, best friend, what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I hope you enjoyed this video. I love you guys so much and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.